So I'd like to share some examples of laminar flow. They're not too interesting to see moving because they're typically very slow, but we do uh, have some nice places to go and look at them. So this is Antarctica where I've had the pleasure of working and we're going to zoom into Pierce Valley and I'll show you the location and then I'll show you uh, some of the glaciers, one of the glaciers. Okay. So I'm going to be showing examples of uh, some photos of this glacier right here. Okay. So that glacier is uh, this one right here. Okay. And one of the first things uh, that you can notice about the glacier is that it has relatively steep sides. All right, so we don't have scale here yet, but this is uh, tens of meters high, and um, the sides are very steep. And one of the ways it can retain that steepness is because it has a relatively high uh, viscosity. Okay, so here's here's another view of the glacier of that same glacier. All right, so you have the area up here is the same as the area here. And we can look at uh, this side in here, which is the next photo I'm going to show. Right here. Okay, so one of the things that you can see in both uh, this photo, let me get rid of that ugly line because it's such a beautiful glacier. One of the things you can see uh, in the photo is that you have these very distinct lines in the glacier. And so what's happening is that as the glacier falls across this cliff, it's picking up sediment and it's eroding the sediment uh, from parts of the glacier over here and they're getting incorporated into the ice. And then they those spots remain the same and they're based on what's at the bottom of the glacier and the particles get transported downstream parallel to each other in a laminar sense, right? There's no real mixing of these lines. So that's, that's sort of how you can tell by looking at the side of this particular glacier that it's a laminar flow. Okay, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to show you a couple of examples uh, from another area. So this is uh, two, these are two images uh, from New Zealand. And I will show you where those are. So I have this all prepared. So there's a beautiful hike in New Zealand. We'll zoom out just a little bit again, wrong way, out a little bit, uh, where you can hike up this valley and look up at the glacier here. So I'm going to move this to the side. And the view that we have uh, in this image is me standing uh, along the stream here, looking up at the water pouring down uh, the image here. And so what, what you actually see is you have the ice at the top with a high viscosity and as it melts it changes um, uh, it changes to liquid water and you get you get this high viscosity or the, the low viscosity and it flows down rapidly in this turbulent zone. And you can tell that the water is turbulent 
um, by the mixing that you see in this example here. In addition to just seeing the turbulence, what you have is you have this stream is flowing in and it's coming, it's the outflow of uh, the water that's accumulating in this valley. And it has a lot of very fine debris from the glacier and it's mixing with much cleaner water. And if you look in the zone down here, there's a very distinct difference here between the two waters, but as you move downstream, it's mixing together. And that mixing is a result of the turbulence. Thanks for watching.